What's up guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X here and today Google released the second version of Android M developer preview for the Nexus 6, Nexus 7, Nexus 5, and Nexus 9. So the stock images are already available. In fact, some over the air updates are being pulled and uploaded to the internet. It does turn out that the WUG Fresh Nexus Root Toolkit is still the easiest way by far to update your Nexus device to the latest version of Android. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of how you can get your device to Android M developer preview version two. Uh, on your Nexus 6 or any other device using the Woke Fresh Nexus Root Toolkit. So most of the changes in this build were on the back end and are pretty important to developers, uh, but there are also some new features that are present here. So we're gonna do a quick rundown of those features. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so real quickly, we will go into our settings. And the first thing you'll notice here as far as changes are concerned is the wonky app drawer has been cleaned up quite a bit. So we don't have like the, we, I mean, we see that it's still in alphabetical order and we have our easy to access uh, applications or our most recent apps up top and then everything else is in alphabetical order, but we don't have the letters of the alphabet on the side like we did in the version one of the preview build. And then of course you can still search for applications here if you're the type of person that has a thousand applications on your device. Real quickly, we'll go into settings. We're going to about phone. Now, I had mentioned using Wokefresh Root Toolkit to apply this update. You could also go to software. Uh, you could also go to system updates and choose to update that way. Now that is coming in the next few days, so Google has not released the over-the-air update file for those of you on developer preview version one yet, but that is coming. Uh, for now, Wokefresh Root Toolkit is probably the easiest way to update. So we're on Android version M and the build number is MPZ79M. So go ahead and click on the M. And it brings us the M Easter egg. Now if we press and hold, see if we can get an idea of maybe what's to come. No, we still have like the little M&M &M guy that shows up. It's like, I don't know what version I am. But anyways, that's what comes up. So we don't have a full Easter egg yet. I was kind of hoping that maybe we'd get a little hint, but still no hint as to what M stands for. Google Now on Tap is also sort of included in this build, but not completely. We'll probably see that in the final build of Android M, but Google Now on Tap, for those of you that aren't aware, basically it just gives you information or a Google Now card based on what it finds about the screen that you're currently viewing. Okay, so to get to the on tap settings, just long press the home screen, go to settings, and then go to Now Cards. And you'll see there's an option to turn on now on tap. It says it uses the current screen to improve voice search and show helpful results on long press. Now it's not totally functioning, but if you want to give it a try in its early stages or it's not finished stages, you can actually turn it on here and give that a try. So it's nice that they've included that in this version, version two. Also, once you turn it on, it'll take you to this page here. It says opt in on tap and just say, and I think it's funny that they added, we know how ugly this is. So this is not obviously the final version. So go ahead and type in. And that basically that enables on tap for our device. Okay, so in build number two of Android M, if you go into storage and USB, there is now uh, just a quicker way to access your files. So you can just quickly and easily kind of manage files through this uh, USB and storage application. Okay, so we turn on the developer options. We'll go to about phone and we will click on the build number seven times to enable developer options. We'll go into developer options and uh, we will go to the show system UI tuner. So we'll turn that on. And then it's right here underneath about phone. If we go into the system UI tuner, we can now show embedded battery percentage. So the battery bar up top in the status bar. If you turn that on, you now have battery percentage right there uh, inside the status bar, which is pretty cool because normally you would need a tweak or some kind of mod or hack to get that enabled. You'd need root on your device. You no longer need that. It is included in stock Android M developer preview build number two. If we go into status bar, you'll see that you can also turn off these annoying icons. So like uh, there is an option to turn off the Bluetooth icon in the status bar. So you know how if you've got everything on, it's all working at once, it just fills up and clutters up your status bar. You can actually turn off all of these little notifications and they'll go away. So if I turn off Wi-Fi, it just disappears from the status bar. If I turn off 
Let's see, what else is up there? Turn off the cellular data, that goes away. Do not disturb, alarm, Bluetooth, hotspot, all of those uh, can just be turned totally off, which cleans up your status bar. So that's pretty awesome. That's probably one of the coolest features so far in this version two of the developer preview build, in my opinion. There's one other neat little feature in this build, and that is a few new options in your screenshot. So if I go ahead and take a screenshot, when I pull it down, you'll see that I now have the option to share or delete. So I can just delete that instantly, or I can share that instantly. So that's pretty cool that that is now included. Some other OEM devices, you know, Samsung devices, have those options there automatically. We now have that also automatically on our Nexus devices and on stock AOSP Android M. So overall, this has been a pretty cool build. I've not really gotten a chance to use this as a daily driver. I just really wanted to dive in and check out some of the features. I'm sure there are actually probably some more features hidden inside of here. And if I find any more, I will definitely give you guys an update. That about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.